Hello YouTube viewers, Silver Tardis here with another update video. Yeah, right. Now, that's the fourth series of Cyber Wars Over. Quite a good series, I think. But after that, what else? But another series of Extreme and Series 5. Now, um, all of the robots you see here are either new or improved. Let's start with the improved. All right, first of all, we have three robots being represented by members of YouTube. They've all fought before, but, um, and they're, yeah, as I said, they're all still being represented, but they've just had a few modifications. First of all, we've got uh, Ripper, still representing Kinex Roboteer. It's, um, yeah, be being repainted, as you, as you can see. It's meant to, um, resemble camouflage if you're um it's yeah it's meant to resemble camouflage if you were wondering why i decided to paint it like this um the flipper it's much lower to the ground much stronger than the previous one so in series five it should have better luck than it did in series four right moving on we have scorpion representing reesey boy 37 now um I did tell him a long time ago I was uh, rebuilding Scorpion because the older version didn't do so well. This is based more on the um, the real life modern version of Scorpion. Um, its armor consists of cardboard and um, well, the orange comes from an old galaxy wrapper. Uh, the axe is still the same from the previous Scorpion, but it's um, a lot more accurate. Um, a lot more reinforced than the old one. It's also got a lower ground clearance and I painted the um, Scorpion logo on the back so Reesey Boy 37 I hope you're happy with that. Right moving on with regards to Hater 13 we have Disturbed back with a green flipper um, it's also got um, extra armament in underneath the flipper to give it extra protection some uh, new spikes on at the end of the flipper as well. Get in underneath some more ground clearances. So, um, Hater 13, I hope you're happy with that. Right, now, now we move on to the robots who are currently not represented by members of YouTube. But um, if you want to be represented by any of these, feel free to um, put your put your name down in the comment section below right uh, first of all you'll recognize Major Tom from the Jubilee special yeah the reason I built Major Tom was because uh, the the Queen's Jubilee was coming up and I thought Jubilee special sounds like a good idea no one had ever done one before and I don't think anyone will get another chance to do it again um, and uh, yeah, this is Major Tom. I was wondering whether I would go with the bumper car design that so many people remember, but um, just I tried it. It didn't really work. But th this is the version of Major Tom that I built. It's um, a lot longer, and as you can see, I've managed to perfect the uh, roll bars that uh, Major Tom had. And as for the head... I just took a picture of that off of um, the internet and stuck it on a bit of cardboard. And Major Tom, it's got a very low ground clearance at the front, not so much at the back. Uh, that says uh, Teleho, if you're wondering. Good old Brit of British banter. So anyway, that's Major Tom. Next we have Axor. Now, now the real reason Axor didn't compete in series um, 4 as it was supposed to was because Axor was actually being rebuilt uh, whilst it's true that the old Axor the axe broke off and I didn't have time to um, repair it I thought never, ma never mind I'll just come up with an excuse and um, give Axor a rebuild for series 5 and I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out it's um, it's a lot smaller than the old version, uh, but at the same time it looks a bit more um, chunky and heavy. Um, much better axe on the top and 
I think, a much more powerful flipper as well. So yeah, Axor, you can be represented by that. Just um, say if you want to in the um, comment box. But let's check out the other robots. If you're wondering what happened to the old Axor, well, here's what's left of it. As you can see, it's now Robo Chicken. Yeah, I don't know what any of you were expecting, but the old Axor is now Robo Chicken um, with the uh, poultry pecker and the uh, fowl flipper. Uh, the poultry pecker, um, don't know about you, it sort of reminds me of the um, the axe that Kilohertz had in series 3 and 4. But it's a powerful axe nonetheless. It'll, I think it's about as powerful as the one Crossfire has, so quite a lot of power behind it. And it's got that flipper as well. So yeah, that's Robo Chicken. Right, moving on, we have... Mr. Nasty. Now, I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. Uh, Mr. Nasty, um, the team who were to... The, the team who now own Mr. Nasty, they're trying to bring it back. They've also got uh, Steel Avenger, Exterminator, and Bulldog Breed as well. But, um, yeah, this is my version of Mr. Nasty. Um, I couldn't paint the face exactly. Um, I'm not the best painter. But... Um, I tried to keep it as um, accurate to the original as I could. And the weapon obviously is a spike which is composed of cardboard and two cocktail sticks and will make a nice big hole in another robot. Believe me, it's been tested. There we are, Mr. Nasty. Okay, moving on. Um, this one, uh, try and guess. Nope. Well, it's actually Conquering Clown. Um, yeah, very different to the one seen in the American Robot Wars. Although I did try to make it look similar. Uh, just a green and yellow afro instead of the rainbow one. Um, the body, as you can tell, it's just um, a few bits of cardboard stuck to a main body. Uh, pretty low ground... Uh, ground clearance at the front and rear not so much around the sides but if you want to have a laugh and um, that's yeah if you want to have a laugh if you see, as you, and you can see on the back who's lol that means who's laughing out loud um, so if you think conquering clown yeah I'll have a laugh y you can be represented by that All right moving on um, this one Really pleased with this one. This is Rosie the Riveter, if you haven't already worked that out. Um, it's a pushing robot. No saw on it like in the um, original series. As you can see, that's meant to be the um, the flag Rosie the Riveter had on its actual body. And you can see it's got the wings. And those silver bits are meant to be the wheels. Alright. And last but not least, we have... It looks like Plunderbird from where you're sitting. It's actually an American robot called Spartacus. Now, if you watch the um, Series 7 of Robot Wars, you'll remember Spartacus from a special event. And more specifically, the Third World Championships. And its weapon is a, um, is a, is a beak at the front. And Spartacus, it's a slow robot, but... Um, pretty heavy and so quite a bit of pushing power behind that if you want to um, be represented by that just um, say so down in the uh, comments box right so that's all the uh, new robots but um, here's something I wanted to add on from a previous video it's the uh, lineup for the new blood tournament um, and um, so let me just remind you of the names we have Demolition Man, which is a spinner. Bladehead, which is also a spinner. Uh, the Cannibalist, with um, a crushing beak. The One-Wheeled Robot, with um, motorised saw blades at the front. Um, Valkyrie, yeah, this is in the next... Right, so that's um, the first round one battle. 
The second Rowan battle is composed of Valkyrie, Bowser, Heavyweight Hulk, and the Insurrectionist. Now, remember what I said in that previous video, only one of these robots will have the chance to compete in Series 5. The rest will never get that chance. But um, once said robot has won the tournament, you can be represented by that robot if you wish. So that's all that's new for Series 5. Uh, some of these robots will be appearing in... Um, series 4 of Cyber Wars Extreme. As you probably predicted, I've got um, the All-Stars and the Annihilator for this series. I've also got a bit more than that. I've um, also prepared another account mayhem and the first Tag Team Terror Championships. So, right, this is Silver Tardis and see you next time.